I came to the United States when I was 11 years old, in 1999. My family and I, we moved uh, to a city uh, called West New York, New Jersey. Uh, it was just my mother and my brother and myself. It was a very different environment compared to where we came from in Ecuador. It was very urban. It's a very poor neighborhood. We lived in a one-bedroom apartment. I shared what would be the living room with my brother. It was very difficult and it, it was a culture shock. And then I came to Iowa and that was another culture shock. <laughs> my bachelor's was in women's studies and international studies. It was a double major. I went on to, to look for my master's degree so that I can influence policy changes. So I've been predominantly involved in immigration policy issues. Um, I work with uh, organizations as a volunteer or as board member um, that target the Latinx community here in Iowa. Um, I think that all policy is family policy. People don't realize it, but it impacts families in some way or form. And um, for me, immigration policy, not just because of my lived experience, but because of the community that I see even here in Iowa, uh, I could see how much influence it has on their day-to-day, -day, on their lives, and on their children's livelihoods. So I want to gain as much experience as possible within the immigration policy world, so I hope to get a job in some sort of research think tank. Um, and uh, eventually my, my dream job, my goal in life is to become the U.S. policy director, and so that'll be, that'll be a big big leap, but I know I could try at least. <laughs>